What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we check out the final Steam version of a game that we've been waiting for for a long, long time. Little Wood. I played the demo of this a little while ago and I had trouble putting it down. It was too much fun. I just couldn't do it. Like, I wanted to play the game more and now we've got the opportunity. Let's dive on in. Oh, look at that. It's got my old save. It must use the same save location even though the other one was a standalone, like... The other one was a was a standalone, like, I guess, executable when I played it last. This time around, it's actually running through Steam, but I guess they've still got the same Steam saves linked up or something. Sweet, man. Uh, so we gotta pick our hairstyle. I don't know. Yeah, bandana. That's what I'm talking about. What kind of bandana-ass hair do I want to have up in here? Do we gotta have the blue hair? That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna look like an anime hero. Skin tone? I think I'm, like, fine with whatever. I guess there's only three of them right there. We'll go ahead and be like, I gotta get my clothes color coordinated to my hair. It's important to me. I don't want overalls, though. I'm not feeling the overalls. Like, that's not a good look right there. I'm not trying to be like a farmer out here. We're trying to be a hero. We can be curious, we can be curious, kind, naughty, creative. Let's be naughty. <laughs> All right, and what is your name? Uh, my name is, how do I get the capitals up in here? My name will be Splat. I tried to type it out with the keyboard, but it didn't work. No, not Spla. Spla is not my name. Damn it, now my name is Spla forever. There's no government agency to fix it for me either. Damn. All right, so here we are. We can walk around. We can go outside of our house, which is right here. You can tell from the doormat. What is this over? No, don't talk to me. I want to pick up treasure chests. Spla, you're awake. <laughs> I was so worried about you. You were asleep for three days. All of the towns across Solemn are finally beginning to rebuild. What? You don't remember anything. Come on, don't be silly. You, the hero of Solemn, saved the world by defeating the Dark Wizard. You really can't remember, huh? Well, that means you probably don't remember the... Never mind. We'll get you back to normal soon. Well, first things first, we gotta rebuild the town. Alright. What is this? I want it. Ooh, 80 wooden planks? Yeah, dude. That's a good that's a good gift for an adult. Just a bunch of cords of wood. 80 plain bricks. Alright, is there anything else around? Like, can I see anything else in the region? I don't have the right tool for this yet. Alright, well, apparently we left the house without our tool. You know, that's a bad decision. Daddy said never leave the house without my tool. But we'll get them. I assume we'll get them at some point. We'll have those tools so that, you know, Daddy ain't raised no fool. You know what I mean? We got 10 dirt. That's a terrible treasure chest. Like, I don't know what I'd do if I opened up a treasure chest and found just like 5 kilograms of dirt. I just went, mm. Somebody's playing tricks right now. Somebody's messing around with Splatty, and Splatty doesn't like to be fooled like this. Makes him feel bad. Who are you? Hey, so the rumors are true. It's really you. Splar, save you from the Dark Wizards, alive after all. What, you don't recognize me? But we did so many quests together. Well, maybe the Dark Wizards magic wiped away your memory. In any case, this is cause for celebration. I've decided I'm gonna move into town right away. Hopefully you can remember all the funny jokes I told you on our past adventures. All right. So apparently it wants me to build the Daltons out. Did I just fart? Oh, I like I thought I pressed I pressed the Q key and a little pluff came out of my butt, so I thought for a second like farting was a feature in this game. I don't know what this town's name was. How about we give it a new name? What do you think? Nah, it can't be called Littlewood. Like that's that's not We're gonna call it Bala Ha there we go. Balaholica. Perfect. Bala Halika. It's kind of like Hanukkah, but more baller. That settles it. The town is going to be b called Bala Halika. <laughs> hey, is that Dalton over there? He's got my letter. Now we'll have more help with rebuilding Bala Halika. Oh, and I almost forgot. Here's a blueprint for a house. You should probably build it right away. Okay. So I've got like a thing for a house right now. What does that say? Oh, it's like a schedule. Okay, so we've got a schedule for like things we're going to be doing in the near future. That sounds like fun. Dalton, come visit me first thing tomorrow at my house. I got a really neat idea for the town. In case you didn't know, you can go to sleep early by interacting with your bed. Okay, I didn't need to know. I mean, 
He's like, go to sleep, fool. You don't got any memory left. I'm like, all right, all right. Fair enough, fair enough. What button do I push if I want to put down like a... If I want to build a house, how do I do that? Nobody told me any keys. I'm so confused. It's control. All right, we got control. We can elevate, lower. We've got flooring. We've got nature, and we've got objects. We've got Willow's house. We've got my house, and we've got Dalton's house. Well, obviously, like, I need a place to live. So we'll just kind of, like, drop that right there. That looks pretty good to me. And then Dalton needs a house, too. So let's build him one. Dalton can be, like, right there. Perfect. And so we built houses for us and all of our friends so that we can, like, invite them over for fancy parties that heroes have or something. I don't know. Uh, what's going on with you? I'm going to compliment you. Hey, girl. Aw, you really mean it? Thanks. I do, girl. You so beautiful right now. All right. Dalton. Oh, never mind. He just wants me to go to sleep. I guess there's not really anything else to do. I'm going to look around for a minute and kind of get, like, a feel for the lay of the land and maybe find more treasure. There it is. Ten gra- I thought I said gassy earth for a second. Oh, ooh, this, this earth got kind of a skunky aroma going on with it right now. I don't know, man. I don't know if this is our stuff right here. I wonder if I can install, like, a ramp or something. Like, what if I, like, lower that right there? Oh, I can't do that. Okay, so, like, let's re -el No, re-elevate. There we go. Re-elevate it because, obviously, I did the wrong thing. We can have cobblestone road, dirt roads. We've got trees and ores and crops and all that fun stuff. We've got structures like a lumber mill and a smelter. Okay. We've got fences. We've got town decor. Okay. All right. Sweet. So there's like other stuff around that we can actually build inside of the city too. It says we already have a lumber mill. Where is that at? Like where is the where is the lumber mill getting down in town? Over here? This looks like a lumber mill. Oh yeah. So maybe we bring like our rough wood over here just in case your wood is extra rough. Turn it into planks. And then this right here is like a smeltery. All right, that makes sense. I don't see anything else to do, so I suppose we'll clunk out and go to bed for right now. That might be the best applied use of our time. This house is perfect for a great hero like you, but it is a little empty. You should start by building a bed. Okay. How are you going to tell me to build a bed and then have a bunch of hearts above your head? I'm a married man. Leave me out of this. I don't need to know about... Mm, this is a dangerous situation for a married man. Like, a woman walks up in your house and she's like, build a bed, and then a bunch of hearts, like, levitate over her head, like, mm -hmm, you gotta get out of here. You try to get me killed right now in front of my family. Some extra building materials are right by my house with the green roof. Feel free to help yourself to them. Let's see you build a house. I already, I already built it in the house. Tomorrow we should probably start chopping trees and mining ores. Dalton said he could set us up with some new tools in the morning. All right, I'm going to bed. Sleepy time, sleepy time. Apparently, I got a bunch of levels with her. Like, she is super happy with me right now. Dalton, eh, he could take me or leave me. Dear Spla, you're doing a great job with rebuilding Balaholica. Here is a gift that I've gotten for you. Heroic merits. Okay. I'm going to compliment her one more time. No way. My hair's not pretty today. You're so nice. Got that pretty hair, girl. Hey there, Spla. I hope you're getting accustomed to your new home here in Balaholica. Now that you're here, we can probably start thinking big. And I think our next step for this town is to start earning some dewdrops. All over Solemn, there's many travelers and merchants that are looking for neat things to buy. We need to build a marketplace. Okay. All right, sounds good. Where's Dalton hiding at? Dalton, stop sleeping in late. Dude, we got stuff to do. We got to rebuild a city out here. Hey, this is a cozy house that you built for me. Thanks a lot. Now us heroes finally get a chance to relax. So, like, I had this really cool idea for Bonaholicum. But, like, when I woke up, I forgot it. So, I guess I'll just tell you all the funny jokes that I've heard since we last met. Okay, okay, okay. You ready? Two ogres walk into a shop. One says to the other, Hey, you think they serve human here? Guess what the other one says. Wait, I just remembered my idea. This town needs a shop. It would probably attract a lot of travelers. Every new person could help you regain your memory, too. Okay. All right. I can do that. Uh, let's maybe... I don't know. What do I have the stuff to build right now? That's my main question. So if we have, like, buildings, 
We have the marketplace and we have the general shop. How hard is it to build a marketplace out here? Like, I think the marketplace should go right there. Like, I think that's a really good spot for the marketplace. But it looks like it doesn't like that decision. But I don't want it to block right there. I think there's, like, things in the way. So maybe we have to wait on this one. But what I would like to do is we could do a general shop. Yeah, let's put the general shop right down here by the crossroads. Perfect. All right, so we got the general shop. Let's go in. This shop is perfect. Oh, yeah. I stocked up on some neat tools. You can have them if you want. Those gloves right there are going to be useful for picking fruit and planting crops. That pickaxe is going to break any stone or ore that you find around here. And then the axe can be used to chop down trees for spare wood. All right. Gloves. Pickaxe. Axe. Can I break these pots over here? An empty barrel. Really cool. Well, I mean... Seems kind of mundane to me, but I don't know like what people in Littlewood's barometer is for coolness. Oh yeah, there you go. We can chop down that tree right there. Can pick that right there and then maybe, just maybe, I could put in my general shop or like my marketplace. Yeah, dude, there it is. That's looking good. Like I think I put items on here to sell them if I remember correctly. And, like, anybody that comes by will just, like, buy those. Uh, we've used up a big chunk of the day, but I think it's not too terrible of an idea if we just, like, gather some goodies. That's also giving us some XP. So if we don't really have, like, anything else to work on, we might as well just kind of clear out these spaces so that we can build down here. That's what sounds like a good plan to me. We got some weed, too, dude. We've got wild-growing kush out here. That's good. I mean, that'll help us, like, kill us. That'll help us kill a Saturday afternoon, all right? A little bit more weed. There we go. Let's go ahead and knock that down as well. I'll probably lower the elevation on all of this. So, like, let's go to lower elevation, right? And then we'll just kind of, like, get rid of all this. Like, this will give us a nice little neat building area, I think. How come it's not working anymore? Do I have to, like, level it off from the top? Oh. Uh. Well, that's not good. How did I get up here? There we go. I guess it fixed itself. I got nothing to complain about. I was a little bit worried I was going to get stuck, but I wonder if there's anything at the bottom of the well. I don't know. We'll have to check that at some point. This seems like a game that probably encourages exploration and a little bit of, like, fun having. You know, we can't focus too much. I got a rare item, an acorn. Ooh, who's this old guy over here? Hey, you, old guy. Come talk to shit a while. And listen. Uh, is that really you? My goodness, how much you've grown. Willow sent me a letter saying that you survived the fight with the Dark Wizard. I was so worried about you on your adventures. Huh? You don't remember much. Well, that's okay. What matters is the world is safe now because of you. Maybe this old man can lend a hand with the rebuilding of the town. Oh, cool, we got Dudley's house. All right. I'll probably build, like, the Dudley home over here, the Dud Cave. Like, right there. Yeah, dude, put the Dud... Yeah, put, put the Dud Cave right there. That's a good spot for the Dud Cave. Thanks for building a house for me. It's perfect. I think I'm going to make many good memories here. Speaking of memories, do you remember how to fish? Huh, so it looks like I'm going to have to teach you all over again. All right, so apparently I know how to fish now. Sweet. It's probably time to go home and get like a sleep in. It's probably the best idea for right now. Okay, we increased our reputation a little bit. We got a little bit better at wood cutting. Wednesday on the third day of spring. I had a good night's rest. I'm feeling pretty creative. Hey, I know, I know, my face looks terrible. This morning I was trying to pick some weeds around my house, and well, a big dragon wasp stung me right in the face. I'm gonna craft a bug net, and then I'm gonna catch every last one of those things. Let's see here. I just want to say that you're such an inspiration to all the townsfolk. All you, do you think that Bubsy is mean? Like Bubsy the cat? No, man, he just makes one-liners and is kind of like a Sega Genesis platformer that got lost in the hustle of all the other Sega Genesis platformers. It's not his fault that his game got kind of forgot about. It just, it just isn't. Bubsy is kind of like the original Conker, man. 
Like, he had those one-liners. Those ones that were, like, vaguely funny to kids, but also funny to adults because they had, like, innuendos. Oh, cool. Like, we sold all that stuff. That's pretty sweet. Oh, dude, we made 40 bucks selling dirt? Who knew that dirt farming was so, like... Who knew that dirt farming was so profitable? I learned a new thing today. Apparently, I need to go outside and get digging. With a marketplace, new travelers and merchants are going to appear to buy your items. I recommend selling any weeds and meteorites you find laying around. They actually sell for a lot of dewdrops. Okay, that's probably a good thing to know. Do you remember the first time we fished together? That wizard really did a number on you. You were very young then, and for me, I was in my prime. We went out on my old boat on Lake Okiwoki and fished all day. I had to cover you up with cold towels because of all the sunburns. We still had a lot of fun out on the water, though. And now, because of you, folks everywhere can have days like those again. I'm kind of like the stuff, huh? Like, we could probably parlay this into a political career. That's what I'm thinking. It's like, we don't necessarily have to settle for being like a has-been hero, you know? Oh, cool. I caught a minnow. Nice. Let me see if I can catch this one over here. Hey, fishy, come here. Fishy, come here. Let's be friends. Ooh, a Tetra. Nice, dude. I used to have Tetras. I used to have a bunch of them. I used to be an aquarium guy when I was younger. I had Placostomuses, and I had Tetras, and I had all kinds of fun stuff. I really, really liked aquariums when I was a kid. I was very addicted. A lot of my Christmas presents when I was a little kid were, like, aquarium-related accessories. Because my parents liked that better because it was a hobby than, like, video games. And so if they could, they'd always get me stuff for my aquarium instead of, like, buying video games or, like, Sega Genesis stuff. I still like fish, I just don't have time for it anymore. There's something relaxing about like a big like 25 gallon tank, you know what I mean? And they just like move around so gracefully inside of there. And they just like go about their business, like they don't care about anything. They don't have any worries, they just float around being fish. I don't know, I can't explain to you why I like aquariums and fish. I guess they're just relaxing. I especially like Placostomus, it's like the big old sucky catfish that you put inside the tank. I like those guys because they help you out with the algae issues so that you don't have to scrub the tank quite as much. My Placostomus was almost a foot long when he died. I don't know what he died of. I think, like, what happened is I screwed it up. I had him for, like, seven or eight years. And, like, Placostomus is they'll grow to, like, whatever size the tank is. And I don't know. I had him for a long time, and then one day I came in and he was just, like, dead at the bottom of the tank. I'm kind of wondering if he outgrew the tank and just, like, there wasn't enough oxygen being circulated. And he, like, suffocated. I'm not really sure. Like, I've, I've never really known what killed him, because they can live a really long time. I mean, it's possible he was just old. I buried him in the backyard because he was way too big to flush. He was about 8 inches to a foot long. He was a big fish. He had weight to him. So I took him out in the backyard and buried him. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I should chop some planks. Like, we have wood, right? Yeah, let's go chop some planks, man. Let's do that. Yup. Oh, we get crafting XP for this. Oh, that's pretty sweet. That's nice. So apparently we want to level up like everything. I got to go to bed though. Like I feel like maybe I feel like I'm burning the candle at both ends right now. Let's go back and we'll sleep and we'll see what like tasks they had for us tomorrow. So we leveled up our reputation a little bit. I'm assuming that it's going to unlock like storyline components or something like that whenever I level people up to like a certain threshold. I don't know. We'll find out. Like, I like the little Lake Okiwoki story. Like, that was good. It was a little heartwarming. I like slime apples, but not if they're rotten. If I find rotten ones, I usually throw them at Willow. Want to try it with me sometime? We got a DeLuca coin. I don't know what a DeLuca coin does. Hmm. Guess we'll have to figure that out later. What about, like, is there anything else worth gathering down this way? Oh, this path wasn't here the last time I played the game. Like, it was blocked off down there. So now we can actually, like, go to differing areas. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me. Oh, this tree's got fruit on it. Hold on. Let's go get the fruit from the tree. So it's a slime apple tree. I guess that's probably why it wouldn't let me chop it down. Get a little bit more stone, and I'll probably turn these into blocks a little bit later. They haven't really given me anything else to do, but we can talk to all the townsfolk after we get done with our chores, kind of like wandering around outside of town. I'll maybe do a little bit of fishing or something. This doesn't seem like the kind of game that's going to have, like, a ton of structure to it. Hey, I forgot to tell you something yesterday. While you were out adventuring, this old man found his green thumb. I grew all types of veggies on my old farm. It was pretty rewarding. In case you wanted to try growing some crops, I wanted to give you this. Tilled soil. Okay. First you place some tilled soil down, then you're going to put some crops on top. There are many different types of crops in Solemn. I'm sure you're going to discover all of them. 
Okay, so for now we've just got carrots, but we can give that a ride a little bit later and kind of see what happens. Be chopped down this big old tree over here. I love how the tree gets shorter every time you chop it. It kind of reminds me of the aesthetic in like Mario Brothers. Hello there. I was walking in the woods and I stumbled upon this town. Some folks are saying that you're Splaw, the hero of Solemn. I expected you to look a bit more heroic, I guess. I'm Bubsy, Solemn's greatest chef and fashion connoisseur. This place looks to be in desperate need of my good food and fashion sense. I'm sure my signature slime pudding or my bubbly dragon drink is going to satisfy your townsfolk. Oh, cool. We can build a house for Bubsy now, too. All right. Uh, I don't know where I want Bubsy to be at. Like, I don't know where we should put him. But like right here. This seems like an okay spot. Let's deploy the Bubsy over here. Yeah, that looks great. I like the way that looks. We'll probably round out some of these fences over here, but... How do I... So if I wanted to lower and destroy... Oh, I can get rid of it that way. Gotcha. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do now is we will go with objects, and we'll go with fences. What we'll do is we'll go fence there, fence there, and then we'll just take this down and around. Perfect. And then I'll probably get rid of this fence over here, too, so that we can actually make it, like, adjacent down here to the side of the road. Like, I want to get this all straightened out, but I got a feeling it's going to take us a little while to get all the aesthetic stuff all nice and hammed out. So there we go. We got rid of all that. As far as flooring goes, we've got ground, we've got a dirt road, tilled soil, and cobblestone road. It costs one of something, and we don't have any of that. Alright. Well, let's go talk to everybody else to see what other tasks they have for us. You know, Dalton made a good point this morning. He says you need an official title in your own office. What do you think your title should be, Spla? Mayor? Um, I don't think I'm gonna go for that. Instead, I'd like something a little bit more festive. And we're gonna go, we're gonna become the new, nope, not the Emperor J. We're gonna be the new Embra. It's decided, you're officially Spla, Empra of Balaholica. There's a nice ring to it. Now, our new official Empra is deserving of an official building. A building where you can write new rules for Balaholica and for all the townsfolk. Oh cool, I've got an office now. Sweet, I'm official, man. Official like a whistle. As my buddy What's the Biz likes to say. Hey, Spla! I fixed my face, can you tell? Also, I made some bug nets so that we can catch all these pesky dragon wasps. Here, you can have the good one. A novice bug net. Okay, cool. I don't know what the bugs are useful for, but we can give it a go. What about at Bubsy's house? Let's go into Bubsy's house. We just built that thing. Like, I want to see what he has to say. Like, what kind of conversation can we have with the bird man? Hmm. This is smaller than I'm normally used to, but I think it'll do. Bro, this is a free house. All right, if you were in California, this thing would cost like a half a million dollars. That's how it works out here. 200 square feet, half a million dollars. Living in the same town as our hero is definitely a nice perk. Well, for the rest of today, I'll be shampooing my feathers. Perhaps tomorrow we can walk around Balaholica together. All right. Like, if I build people stuff for their houses, will they get happy, or do they decorate their own houses? Like, I don't know if they decorate their own houses, or if I'm supposed to be making them more comfortable. So we'll give her, like, a bed that'll be over here in the corner. And then, like, what other stuff do we have? We have tables, chairs, lamps, nothing else. Okay, well, I guess I can't help out too much with that right now. Let's go back, and we're going to craft some of the extra sundries that we're going to require in order to continue building up the city. Because I think they're going to keep throwing things at me until I get done. All right, so we got a little bit more planky doos out here. I would like to turn all of my rocks into, like, blocks as well. Because we have, like, a lot of those, so we might as well. I don't think we're going to have time to finish it, though, but we do have time to farm up a little bit of crafting XP. Not a lot, but a little tiny bit. Let's go back to our house. Hopefully we don't black out in the middle of the street like you do in Stardew if I don't get home on time. That'd be a bummerowski. All right. After official night's rest. Oh, we got another one over here, too. Uh, nice job getting level 5 in woodcutting. Here's a gift. I hope you like it. Oh, sweet. Purple wood. If your wood is purple, though, you really should see a doctor. I just wanted to congratulate you on hitting level 5 in crafting. Ooh, a fancy brick. Dear Spla, I'm very happy living in my cozy home here in Balaholica. Thanks for having me here. Oh, I got a meteorite. Sweet. I don't know where I get more of those at, but... Fishy. Come here, fishy. Fishy, 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 fishy. Fishy? Aw, oh, Fishy left me, dude. Fishy's being a jerk. 
There we go. I got a large feather. Off of a off of a bug? I don't think bugs have feathers. I think it officially qualifies as a bird if we get a feather off of it. I'm not trying to be nitpicky, but like it just seems to be the case in my experience that if it has feathers, it's a bird. You know the phrase, if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, has feathers like a duck, it's probably a duck. Oh well. Let's cut off to the right over here. I'm gonna grab the rest of these weeds. We'll probably put those up for sale on the marketplace. Yeah, come here, buddy. You're with me now. There we go, perfect. All right, so I don't know how much of these weeds that I have, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna like, we're gonna, we're gonna sell off some of this Northern Lights, see if we can make a little bit of money here. And so I got fruits and veggies, I got fishies, I got miscellaneous, yeah, there we go. Perfect, we'll sell that off for tomorrow. Can I buy anything in the general store? Like, I've got a little bit of money. I don't know if it's gonna be enough for us to actually acquire anything, but it's worth a look. So like, what is that right there? A dresser, okay. So these are mostly things for our house. A cobalt table, a leafy bed, plain flooring, and an ocean bed. We can also buy a carrot. All right, I'll buy the carrot. The general shop, we can donate. Oh, we can get more furniture and items. Okay, I'm probably not down to like donate my money right now, but maybe later, maybe someday. At the moment, I'm not feeling quite that generous though. Boop, there we go, we caught a flutterfly. All right. Flutterflies don't bite, do they, chat? I need somebody to hit up the old Googles. Hit up the old Googles for me and let me know if flutterflies bite. And I gotta eat up this Friday. I gotta find something to do out here. What new stuff do I have to build? Let's look. Um. Oh, I've got my office. I could build that. Where do I want my office to be? Yeah, let me put my office up on the hill. That seems like the kind of place where the mayor would live. Perfect, so now we've got an office. Let's go check that out and see what benefits that provides us with. To the office, to the wall. Because the dew drops are so small. Sweet. Wow, your own official office. It's very fitting for Balahalika's Empra. Over here is your brand new office chair and desk. That's where you can sit and make new town wishes. That plaque on the wall is also very important. You can view Balaholika's town beauty score. Well, check it out. All right. Appraise my beauty. Look upon it. My town is apparently cute. Nice. So what happens if I sit in my chair? So town wishes, we can get another bug spawn. We can get more crops allowed. We can get extra fruit trees. Okay, yeah, let's get extra fruit trees. We should have a little bit of money coming in today anyways. Like, we're selling off all those weeds that are over on the side of the map, so like, sounds good to me. I wish I knew how to build the stairwells that go up the sides of like some of the taller things, but I don't really know how to do that just yet. I think it might be like a recipe we gotta unlock at some point. Seems possible. There's a rock over here, so we'll go murder that thing. Yeah, take that rock. That's what you get. That's what you get, rock. Let's see if maybe... Oh, there's a bunch of stuff up here. Yeah. Let's get some more goodies. I wonder if you get, like, a chance, like, the higher level you are at wood shopping, the better your chance is to, like, grab something rare, possibly. Got some weeds right there. All right. Something to sell tomorrow, too, because we're a little bit low on cash. Like, I don't want the whole city to fall apart just because, you know, we didn't manage our financials very well. We can't have, like, an ice town situation. A lily pad. All right, and then a smooth rock. I think that's what we needed for the cobblestones anyways. I wonder if I get like a tumbler or something like that later on so that I can smooth out rocks a little bit better. Either way, like I think we're basically out of stuff to do for right now. Unless there's like a magical path up to get these trees and it looks like there is, so let's go get these trees too. And then that should allow us to end our day after being highly productive. Let's head back home and after a seismic shift in the weather, my name is Splattercat. This game is called Littlewood. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I may make this a longer playthrough. I hope you'll all stop in for it because this is definitely kind of a cute game that I want to spend more time with, a la Forager or Stardew Valley or whatever. So I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi, I do, and take care. And don't forget to leave a like on this video. I got a link for you down below, everybody.